which of the following rooms require a three-way switch in a single level residential dwelling unit? The options were hallway, living room, kitchen, large areas, or there is no requirement. Well, unfortunately, the last one is actually the correct answer. And this is going to be played out in 210.70A23. And what it states is, is that the only place in a residential setting where you're required to have a three-way switch at all is if you're dealing with a set of stairs and it has more than six risers. In that case, you'd have to have one at the bottom and at the top. Now, there's some other things that you have to watch out for with that code. If that set of stairs stops at a landing and there's a door off that landing, you would also have to have a three-way switch there. So it'd be a minimum of one at the bottom, one at that landing, and one at the top. And that is required for all stairwells on the interior of the home for a residential dwelling. And anywhere else in the code, it's just not required. Whether it's a hallway, living room, kitchen, doesn't matter how large the hallway is. You could have a 45-foot hallway, and you would only be required to have one switch according to the NEC. So it's super important that we understand this and understand how to apply it. And you ask, well, why doesn't the code require it? Well, if you look back at the beginning of the code, it said it's not intended to be a design manual. So they're going to leave that up to you. With that being said, I am the Electrical Code Coach, and if there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com.